Hey y'all, it's Cece Michelle. Welcome back to my channel. As we're approaching the new year, I want to do a yearly reset. I've kind of been preparing for the new year a lot earlier than I typically would and I'm just feeling very optimistic about 2023 and all that it has in store. I just wanted to make it in a point to be more intentional this year and to really set myself up for success going into the new year. So I'm going to be walking you through everything I've done to prep for the new year and yeah, let's get into it. Instead of doing like one long end of the year recap, which honestly my brain cannot comprehend sometimes. Like I can't think back of, to what my highlight of March was. I'm really sorry. For the last quarter of the year, I've been doing like monthly recaps. So this is the journal that I've been doing my monthly resets in. It's just a random journal with blank pages in it, but I've just been writing out kind of the same prompts for each month. I learned that when I'm journaling, I still prefer to write things down than to type. Doing a digital planner is definitely me taking a big step because I am very much write it down like so I'm slowly getting into you know digitalizing everything but journaling I just feel like is one thing that I just prefer to write down so I started this in September so I want to make it consistent throughout the entire year moving into 2023 I actually got these prompts and kind of like this idea from a creator um, she's here on YouTube I'll put her um, name on the screen she kind of gave me the idea to do like monthly reflections because I just feel like I need to regroup before I just jump into the next month yeah, I got these prompts for her. They basically just say, what are you proud of that you accomplished? What challenged you this month? What are three things you are grateful for? How did you rest this month? And what is something you learned this month? And then I ended off with the word of the month and work for next month. So yeah, by the end of the year, I'll be able to read each of my answers and kind of reflect on those as like an end of the year reflection and really get like a point by point on how far I've come throughout the year. And she also had like a page in her journal where she just, you know, did little check boxes for her content milestones. I thought that was super cute. So I took some inspo from that too and just made my 2023 social media milestones. But yeah, as you can see, I hit my Instagram milestone of 105k before going into the new year so that was really exciting i think this will be really helpful because it's easy in like social media to kind of just be searching for the next best thing like to just be waiting to get to the next number and waiting to get to the next milestone that you don't even sit down and appreciate like wow i just hit this number that i didn't have two weeks ago like it's really hard not to get caught up in just wanting more and more and more so i think doing this will kind of help you reflect on wow i started from here and i made it to here and i surpassed all of these goals to get here so okay so let's go through how i set up my notion so my main thing for this year was to find kind of like just a one-stop shop for everything i have like three different planners and journals that i kind of fluctuate with and i think that was kind of like making me all over the place so i started using notion i'm hoping that this will be helpful for me so i'm gonna walk you guys through how i set it up if you don't know what notion is which granted i didn't know what it was like a week ago <laughs> but it's basically like a digital planner or like it's like a pro productivity did i say that word right a productivity app but yeah i just kind of used it to create a digital planner i know they have templates and stuff like that on there but me personally I just was kind of playing around with it. It took me a long time to figure out kind of the ins and outs of it because it is a little confusing and I really did not feel like watching too many tutorials because they was going a bit too in depth. I was like, I don't need to know how to, how to do all that. I just want to know how to do what I'm trying to do. So I just kind of like figured it out myself to be honest. I'll link one of the videos that I watched below as well. And I also got this kind of layout from the same YouTuber that I got the journaling prompts from. But yeah, let's get into it. This is what my homepage looks like. Again, I got this layout from girly girl that I was watching. I made this little top cover from Canva and then I have my um, kind of verse of the year to go by it's mark 11 23 and 24 and honestly to me it just means like truly believing that the impossible will be possible like 
that is my mantra for this year. I'm just so optimistic about this year and I think that it will exceed like anything that I could have ever thought about. Like you can say to this mountain, may you be lifted up and thrown into the sea. Like that sounds impossible, but if you truly believe it'll happen, then no doubt in your heart it's gonna happen. Like you can have the most wildest goals and plans and dreams for the year and it may sound absolutely insane to other people, but if you believe that, then can't nothing stop you. So that is my first for the year. So I put that at the top and then I have um, today's priorities just listed here. Um, on the side here is just little links to the same pages I have over here. Below my priorities for the day, which I'm gonna change up every day. I think part of my night routine is gonna be updating my priorities for the day and updating like my to-do list and stuff like that. Um, I have a little calendar. I have two things still going on for the month of December. I just added this picture, dream plan do. Um, Y'all know green is my favorite color if you didn't know. Green's my favorite color. <laughs> so I kind of wanted just a fresh, leafy green vibe. Um, here's the habit tracker, things that I want to make habits this year. I want to wake up before 10 a.m. I'm I absolutely have the worst like sleeping schedule and waking up schedule. I just want to be a lot more disciplined moving into this year. I know there was a lot of transitioning happening at this year, so I really did give myself grace with that. Like I went from being a college student, being on a strict schedule. And so from going from that like lifestyle to me coming up with my own schedule, me pursuing content full time time and creating what my days look like it was just such a big jump and I feel like it really showed me how disciplined I have to be if I want to make this work you know and have longevity in this industry so I want to read my devotion before I scroll on social media I want to alter how I start my mornings I feel like how you start your mornings really does set the tone for the rest of the day if the first thing you do in the morning is grab your phone and go to Instagram and start scrolling I feel like that's just gonna be the vibe of the rest of the day like very sluggish very much let me just go on my phone and scroll like I'm um, doing my morning routine if you work from home you know that stuff seems like such a task when you don't have to leave the house and go anywhere like doing my morning routine even on days where I'm still gonna be in the house I feel like will be so helpful for me to stay productive throughout the day so I definitely want to make that a habit you know that leads me to my next one take probiotics I'm gonna start researching what vitamins I need to be taking as well because I know I don't take vitamins so I know I need to start taking vitamins so those are gonna be my habit goals for the year and then to the right I just added this little cute playlist um, I don't know who the creator of the playlist is, but it's your not so local coffee shop, kind of like lo-fi beats, um, which is kind of cool. I thought it was cool that they had this feature to add in a Spotify playlist. So, okay, let's hop into our actual planner. So I have like quick little things to do in the quick ticks um, column. I have my must do's, which I'm doing today. My uh, yearly reset and then the app not the app but notion lets you actually check these boxes and cross them out and whatnot so that's cool and then i have my personal goals one of the things that i struggled with with you know planning and writing everything down was separating like my personal tasks for the day from my like work tasks the fact that i was able to curate you know this column just like for personal stuff just is another reason why I feel like this app is just gonna be so much be so much more beneficial um, for me. And then projects, I have a mascara um, collaboration that I need to film, and then I need to edit a video. But yeah, and then down here I have just like a general tab, things that also like need to get done, but it's not like dire. So I need to research camera lenses because. I need a new lens for my camera but I don't know anything about camera so and then I have a bigger um, display of my monthly calendar I want to fill this calendar up with like everything that needs to be done everything that needs to be posted so that you know I just have a layout of everything but you can click on the things that you have to do and then it'll show like the details of it so let's go into the next thing which are my goals for the new year so um, I kind of divided everything into 
categories that make sense for me. So I have my personal goals, my career goals, financial goals, and spiritual goals, and then I have my wish list. So I'm not going to go through each and every single one of these. You guys can kind of scan them if you're interested, um, but I'll just like talk on a few of them. Getting a license is really big. I want to have a license by March. Y'all know I cannot drive. I got my permit this year. You know, I've been learning how to drive, but I want to, you know, take my test, get a license by March, like as soon as possible. The goal was by this year, by the end of this year, but I definitely have not been getting my hours like I've needed to. I already touched on working on my sleep schedule. It's a hot mess and I need to like that's the first step of like just being more productive in general like everything starts with that sleep schedule and yeah i want to learn how to cook more if i want to live on my own soon i need to know how to cook more meals no social media sundays i started doing that this year and it's been so beneficial but sometimes i do slip up a little bit and just open the apps and kind of check my notifications a little bit so i want to get out of the habit of doing that so I really want to be a stickler for no social media on Sundays. Like if I have to post something, then I'll go post and dip out. Like that's my reset day. Take a break from consuming the media day. Um, make more time for my hobbies is really, really important. I feel like I have so many things that I enjoy, but I'm so unorganized and I don't know how to manage my time well enough to create time for me to, you know, invest in my hobbies again. And I think with becoming more organized this year, that will give me more time to, you know, do things for me. So start painting again, you know, just like pick up on those little things again. Um, and then I have some health um, goals in the personal goals section as well. Now for career goals, I have my numerical goals for each of my platforms. I would love to hit 10K on YouTube. Um, so I'm gonna start being more consistent here. Um, I would love to get signed to a modeling agency. Um, I got a mother agent this year and I'm hoping that next year I can get signed to an agency. I'm working on building my portfolio now so that would be a big dream of mine. I would love to go on a brand trip. Um, here are my financial goals. Again, it may sound crazy for me to want to make six figures this year, but what do we talk about in our freaking verse of the month? Like, it may sound crazy to everyone else, but if you truly believe it and you pray for it, that dream will come true. So I'm aiming high for my financial goals this year. Um, I want to spend smart and learn about investing and more about credit and stuff like that. Um, I didn't grow up knowing much about money like my parents didn't teach me much about money they don't know much about it themselves no shade no shade so yeah i just want to be more educated in that realm so i don't make the same mistakes that they have um and then i have spiritual goals um again i talked about reading my devotions i want to continue with my celibacy because that's really important for me spiritually um just spend more time in worship i want to listen to more worship music um, and then my wish list talked about the camera lens. I want another phone. If I could get a phone for work and then keep my phone as like my personal phone, that'd be amazing. Um, I want to go on another international trip next year, uh, perhaps buy a car. You know, I don't know what the whole car and apartment and moving to New York and all that will look like. Um, but I still put it on my wish list because those are things that I want. <laughs> so, so this is my content and how I've organized it. This is going to be such a lifesaver for me in staying organized and consistent with my content. Um, so I just basically have the title of the videos and then I have what platform I want the content to go on, the status of the content, and then the sponsor, and then what date it needs to go live if it has like a strict deadline. So yeah, um, and then I can just add to it and then take away when stuff is done and stuff like that, but I think this will definitely help me keep track of what is going on and what I'm posting, when I'm posting it, like, yeah. And then I just have a um, table for some YouTube ideas. You so yeah, that's basically my digital planner that I will be going off of for the year. And I'm really excited to start organizing my life this way and just having a one-stop shop for everything. So now that we have our resolutions and goals for next year all written down and plotted out, we're gonna make a vision board. Now, I've never really been a vision board girly. I don't think I've like 
ever made one intentionally. If we're gonna go there, we're gonna go all the way and we're gonna do vision boards. So I'm just gonna open up Canva. So yeah, I'm just gonna kind of reference my goals and pick out some pictures on like Pinterest that represent the goals, different quotes and whatnot. And you know, just kind of create a collage. Tell me why you're crying, how can it be, deal? When you gave me something, I don't really feel. But you knew that already. When I found you on the ground, you were dark. Now you call me to my yard, uninvited. Can you see me on the edge? I'm a naughty. If the world was then. Would you cry or would you try to get me? Tell me now, but I want you to be clear. Yeah. Tell me now, I need you to be clear. Yeah. I will wait for you, for you. I will wait for you. I will wait for you. Copy. Can you put the time on and rewind you? Help me understand, can you tell me now? Why you made a war that we're fighting now? And you fall and you run when you see my big guns Run around, run away as the rebel comes out Then you go, call on me When you call me, I come But then you go again With your deaf ears Open your mind to the sound of the trumpet What do you want from a life of the hopeless? Now yeah you want, you're begging and crying I want to fly So this is my vision board once I'm all done I just save it as a PNG file and I make the vision board my lock screen for my laptop just to kind of keep me inspired throughout the year I have done all the all right y'all so that brings an end to my yearly reset i hope you guys enjoyed all of the new little things that i've been doing to prepare for the new year i'm so excited to be going into this new year with you guys as you know i will be posting a lot more often the goal is once a week so hopefully you guys can also hold me accountable to that but yeah and also i plan on doing a new year's giveaway so stay tuned for that hopefully i'll be able to share more details in the next video but yeah thanks so much for watching this video give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it comment one of your main goals for next year i would love to read them i'll see you guys in my next video subscribe to my channel and happy new year